It's mid-September in the garden at Casey's Garden and we're thinking about our winter hanging baskets. Now we always advise people to do your winter pots and baskets sooner rather than later. Sun's shining, you don't want to be thinking about it, but actually it's the sunshine that's going to help you. Because if you wait till later in the season, if you wait till kind of November, it's very short days, there's not a lot of warmth, there's not a lot of sunshine, the plants don't grow much. So you end up disappointing displays really, the plants stay tiny or you need to put loads in to make it happen. Whereas if you do it now in September, early October, there's plenty of opportunity for the plants to grow. But we're putting money where the mouth is because the garden is all about trialing things out. So we're going to make up, I've got here, this one is Pansy Cool Wave. It's fairly new on the block, but they're a superb plant to have because what they do is they cascade down. You wouldn't believe how much they spill down. They're a real go-to plant for us now. So we've done one now with I think raspberry swirl and strawberry swirl we've gone with. So we're doing this now and we are going to make another one in late autumn so we can compare how they fare going through the winter time. Another one we're trying out, the cyclamen. Now you get the type of cyclamen that you can plant in your borders that comes back year after year. That's not nearly as showy. What you use in your pots and your baskets is the bedding cyclamen that's only hardy to about minus five centigrade. They're also quite prone to waterlogging so we tend to think they'll probably do you to about Christmas time. So we're going to try these out as well. We have found before the best thing to plant them with is just the ivy because they don't hold any water around them. It's always best with these kind of cyclamen to water around, but of course outside you get the rain, so you have limited control over that. But the winter baskets, much easier to do than the summer ones, basically because there's not so much to choose from, so it does make it easier. So even more important, make your drainage holes. So I just stabbed three holes around, about halfway, so there will be a bit of water, but if we get a wet winter, it's not gonna waterlog and rot the plants. Good quality multi-purpose compost. We always mix in slow release fertilizer, feeds the plants, much better shows. So this is one of our other standard ones. I so said we do the cyclamen and ivy, we do the trailing cool wave pansies. The other ones we do is having a centerpiece, gold crest. So this is more traditional really of what people will know. I'm going with a nice orangey theme for this. Again, people are never very keen on this, but always like to take off the flowers because that's going to help the plant put its energy into making the roots instead, making it a much thicker, bushier plant, which is going to fare better overall. That one's honeybee. It's got a lovely fragrance and it is bee friendly. A lot of these are, so if that's important to you. It's worth putting your nose in, having a sniff. Difference really between the violas and pansies is just the flower size. So I've got a pansy here, so it's going to give it a bit of texture on it. So you can see that's a viola flower and that's a pansy flower. So it's really just the size. Apart from that, they are surprisingly tough plants. They will cope with any snows and frosts. We're not going to worry about anything like that because they are going to take it. Ivy is the traditional trailer that everyone always used to use before we had the cool waves. Alternative, good luck guessing what that is. It's a sedum, doesn't really look like one. Reflexum aureum it's called. And that case cascades down, keeps the leaves as they are all year round. And you could afterwards plant that out into your garden, especially if you've got a rockery or something. That's the uh, bonus of the winter planters. A lot of what you're using, like the gold crest, you could then plant it out because that is going to live forever. So what was my plan here? I think, yes, we've got another fragrance. I tend to find these sort of yellows and oranges have got the better fragrance and often more bee friendly. A lot of blue ones are pretty good on that as well. Let's go in there. And the other pro tip, because we have our summer baskets, they are still hanging in there. They're better from a distance, have to say, don't get too close up. But So we're going to leave them up there for a few weeks yet and we're just going to have these sort of brewing in the background and that's always a really good way to do it as well. If you've got the space, have a set of winter baskets, have a set of summer baskets and that way you're not looking at something that's a bit small and sad for weeks on end. But there we go. So we'll get these hung up in a few weeks time and then a few weeks after that we will start making our second one and we will be able to see how they all do.